In this video, we are going to be solving several questions on LCM, that's lowest common multiple, and GCD, that's greatest common divisor. Now, in order to understand this question, this topic very well, we need to solve some certain questions you're going to be expecting in your exams. Now, the first one says three bells are set to ring out at intervals of four minutes, six minutes, and nine minutes, respectively. If they all ring together now, after how many minutes will they ring together next? Now, one thing you need to understand about this question is the time they are going to ring together next is actually the LCM. Okay, so, in order to divide this, we are going to find the LCM which states uh, 4, 6, and 9. So, what's going to divide through? We have 2, 2 into 4 is going to give us 2, 2 into 6 is going to give us 3, 2 into 9 it's going to give us a 9 since it can't go. So, 2 goes again, this is 1. Can go in three, so we'll put three and we'll put nine. So we have three going. This is one. This is three into three. It's going to give us one. We have three and we have three finally. That's going to be one, one and one. So to get the LCM is going to be two times two times three times three. Now two times two is going to give us four. Four times three is going to give us twelve. Twelve times three is going to give us thirty-six. So at the thirty-sixth minute, the whole bells are going to ring again. So the correct answer. It's it. Now notice, this is a previous question from an exam. Okay, so the next question says, by how much is the LCM of 40 and 60 more than their GCD? Now, we need to find the LCM of 40 and 60. So let's get the LCM first. So this is 2 into 40, we get 20. 2 into 60, we get 30. 2 can go again, we have 10 here, we have 15. Can still go, we have 5, we have 15. Um, 3 can go now, we have 5, we have 5. Then 5 can now go, we have 1 and 1. So the LCM is going to be that's um, 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now this is 2 times 2, that's 4 times 2, 8. 8 times 3, that's 24. 24 times 5 is going to give us 120. Okay, so having established that, now let's look for the GCD. Now for 40, um, so we're going to find the factors of 40, so 2 uh, is 20, 2 here, it's 10, 2 go, it's 5, um, 5 going, it's going to be 1. Now for 60, the factors of uh, 60 are going to be 2, it's 30, 2 can go, it's 15, we have 3 going, that's um, Five, our five going so that's going to give us one so 40 it's going to give us two times two times two times five why um, when we have um, 60 it's going to be two times two times three times five so having established this now, the next thing we're going to do is to look at the numbers that are common. So, the common numbers we have here are, on both sides, uh, we're going to have uh, 2, it's common. Now, 2 is also common here. Now, there's 1, 2, there's 1, 3, so that's not common. So, we have 5 being common. So, therefore, our GCD is going to be 2 times 2 times 5. And that's going to give us 4 times 5, that will be 20. So the difference is LCM minus GCD, it's going to give us 120 minus 20. And the final answer here is 100. So the correct answer here is B. So as easy as that, you can solve that particular GCD question. Okay, so the final question we are going to be treating today says a people intends to add the fractions 2 over 7, 3 over 8, and 5 over 6. So let me write them down so you can see them clearly. 2 over 7, 3 over 8, and 5 over 6. Which one of the following numbers should she choose as a least common denominator? So let's find the LCM of the three numbers. So that's um, 7, 1, 8, and we have 6. So we're going to work on the LCM. 2 into 7, no, it can go 2 into 8, it's 4, and 2 into 6 is 3. Now, 2 can still go, 2 into 7, we have 2, we have 3. 2 can go, we have 7, we have 1, we have 3. 3 can go, we have 7, we have 1, and we have 
one and seven can go finally that's one 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 so all we need to do is multiply these numbers as two times two times two times three times seven now two times two is going to give us four four times two is going to give us eight eight times three is 24 so we have 24 multiplied by seven now seven times eight we're going to get um that's um 28 eight to carry to seven times two it's um 14 plus 2 that's 168 so our final answer here it's 168 okay so these are several questions you can be expecting on lcm and gcd now if you understand these basic questions we've solved you can actually solve the lcm and gcd questions if there are questions you want us to solve for you please do not forget to put it in the comment section now don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can get more fantastic videos from us